Welcome back to Medinair. In this video, let's discuss about case history and orthodontics. Let's understand the purpose and reason behind asking each details to the patient and examining them in an easy way. And trust me, this video is going to be really helpful for your practical exams. So what is a case history? By definition, it means a planned professional conversation which enables the patient to communicate his or her symptoms, feelings and fears to the clinician and recording it in patient's own words so as to obtain an insight into the nature of illness and his or her attitudes towards them. And by recording a detailed case history, we can able to plan effective treatment plan for the patient and we can record it for future references. And in case of any legal matters, it is used as a reference or an evidence and also it reveals the emotional and psychological factors of the patient. And by recording the case history, we can get to know the cause that led to this current problem. It is also helpful to diagnose oral conditions and other medical problems can also be revealed. There are mainly four categories under case history recording procedure. They are collecting the personal information through questioning the patient, recording history, examining the patients both extraorally and intraorally, and finally arriving at the diagnosis and treatment planning. Before commencing, all the registration details such as date, hospital number, case number, and patient's contact details are obtained. This is an absolute necessity to maintain records for future purpose and to easily identify and recollect the patient's details and past conditions. Now let's move on to the personal identification data. The information that are needed to be collected are name, age, gender, occupation, address and ethnic origin. Name of the patient. Why do we need that? Yes, the answer is simple to identify and call them in a polite manner. Also by calling them using their respective names, a good rapport is created between the doctor and the patient because it has beneficial psychological effect. Next, age is asked to the patient. Age is a very good indicator of vital statistics such as height, weight and build. It aids in detecting any age-specific diseases. To prescribe correct dosage of drug, we need age. And also, it is helpful to know the psychological and mental development of the patient. Also, we need to know that certain treatment modalities are carried out at certain ages only. Chronological age refers to the age which is measured by amount of time since birth. Dental age is determined by the number and type of teeth seen in the oral cavity. Skeletal age is determined by the radiographs in the areas where bone and epiphysis fuse. Mental age is calculated according to the mental development of a person. And sexual maturity age is based on development of genital system and secondary sexual characteristics. Orthodontic need for asking the age of the patient are due to the following reasons. Some malocclusions which occur during the growth period can be transient and self-correcting like midline diastema during mixed dentition period or ugly duckling stage. Age also helps to study growth patterns, growth trends, growth predilection and differential growth of an individual. Also, this is an important concept called growth spurt. Growth doesn't take place uniformly at all time. Sudden acceleration of growth occur at certain ages. This is called growth spurt. The growth spurt timings are just before birth, infantile or childhood period which is up to 3 years, mixed dentition or juvenile period which is up to 8 to 11 years in boys and 7 to 9 years in girls. Pre-pubertal or adolescent period which is up to 14 to 16 years for boys and 11 to 13 years for girls. Now this is important because interceptive orthodontic treatments are carried out at this period and malocclusion can be corrected by arch expansion and rapid skeletal expansion during this period of maximum growth. Functional appliance therapy and orthopedic appliance therapy can only be carried out during growth period and if needed, any surgical correction should be carried out only after cessation or termination of growth spurt. 
the dentofacial deformities like maxillary protrusion bimaxillary protrusion maxillary deficiency and mandibular prognathism are surgically corrected only after completion of growth spurt maxillary retrusion is surgically corrected by advancing the maxilla it is delayed till adolescent growth spurt mandibular retrognathism can be surgically corrected at adolescent growth spurt next the gender is recorded according to some studies it is perceived that female gives more priority to aesthetics than male but is that true also we know female precede male in growth events and therefore treatment should be done earlier in female than male next we'll record the occupation any job that induces pressure on teeth can cause malocclusion examples are holding nails in mouth thread biting and pressure of musical instruments recording address is needed in order to communicate and to record for future purpose also by knowing the distance if they need to travel for every appointment longer then the number of appointments can be reduced ethnic origin is recorded because chinese and japanese population have high prevalence in malocclusion also class 2 division 1 malocclusion is more common in americans and bimaxillary protrusion is more common in african origin class 3 malocclusion is more common in malaysian japanese chinese and philippine population and that brings us to the end of the video next three subtopics which are history examination diagnosis and treatment planning will be covered in the upcoming parts i hope you guys found it helpful do like this video and subscribe to medinef for more thanks for watching